All right. Um, so uh, let's get back to where we were. Uh, so this is this is just a detour. We're going to need this bit of machinery. So uh, we're estimating. We're trying to estimate two probability distribu distributions. This is our probability ranking principle, uh, and we need two parts: the model of non-relevant documents and the model of relevant documents. So we said that non-relevant documents, we're just going to, uh, the, the non-relevant model, the background model, we're just going to mod model it with the collection as a whole. So for each word, we're going to count what is the percentage of time that this word occurred in the database as a whole. Right. So uh, that's our background model. Uh, now the relevance model, uh, this is supposed to represent the probability of seeing a word in a random relevant document. So we have this unknown distribution P, we would like to estimate it, and what we assume is that the relevant documents are random samples from that probability distribution. So the way that this document was generated is somebody took this probability distribution and started pulling the words out at random and writing them down on paper, and they happened to come out grammatical and beautiful and so on and so forth. Right. So if we had examples of relevant documents, documents that were drawn from it, estimation would be trivial. Right? You take each word and you count how many times total does it occur in all of the relevant documents and divide it by their total length. Right? And that would be the probability of any given word in the vocabulary. Uh, of course, you don't have any relevant examples, and that's what makes this tricky and uh, challenging. And we said that what we're going to do is we're going to assume that our query is the only sample that we have from this distribution. And we're going to try to use the query to estimate the probabilities, the parameters, the numbers in this distribution, right? So think of them as, pro uh, this, this is one of those urns, and you want to estimate the, uh, the probabilities. And we can't do it directly uh, because uh, this is not going to have enough counts, right? This is going to result in a degenerate uh, model. So how are we going to do this? And um, uh, one way to think about this is um, we're going to be playing a sampling game. Right? We have some unknown distribution P. We know what words are in it, but we don't know the parameters. We don't know the probabilities of the words. So uh, the game that we're going to play is we're going to sample from it three times. So we don't know the probabilities. We sample once, we get Monica. Sample one, second time, we get Lewinsky. Sam sample the third time, we get Case. Right? And then the question is, if I do one more sample, what would be the probability of getting a particular word in the vocabulary? Right? So if the word was, say, jury, how often would I expect to see jury as the next outcome of this sampling game? Right? And if this, uh, of course, you don't know what P is. The only things that you do know are the words that you sampled from P already. So your best estimate for pulling out any given word from this probability distribution is just the conditional probability. What is the probability that I see jury, assuming that I saw Monica and Lewinsky and Case on my previous uh, trials, on my previous samples from the model? Okay. So, so your best estimate for this unknown relevance model is the conditional probability. Right? And of course, how do you estimate a conditional probability? Well, you do it by computing two joints. Right? You compute a joint probability for all the words together and uh, divide them by the joint probability for the things that you're conditioning on. Right? And that's going to give you a conditional probability of a jury. So that's one parameter. And then you repeat this process and you do it for every word in the vocabulary. Right? You do it for army, for bill, for jury, for zoo. Uh, and you get a probability distribution over the entire vocabulary. So that is what you want. That is your P. Okay. 